Normally, playing a board game or a card game, it doesn't always matter if you win, but in the game of mud, and of course politics, winning is everything. From the creators of those who brought you side effects comes MUD, Money Undermining Democracy, the dirty game of American elections. MUD plays two to six players and is for ages 14 and up. You are playing as a wealthy mogul trying to influence the next presidential election. You don't care what side wins as long as it is your side. And in the game MUD, you are going to be gathering cards, which are going to be voters. You're also going to utilize power cards, and your objective is to place down three of each of the specific type of voters in each of the different portions of the United States. Now, of course, there's also Undecided, which are going to be a wild, which will count as anything for you, but if you can get those before anybody else, you win. However, there is a little bit of a problem. That is the Scandal Cards. If you get a Scandal Card, someone else can also play a Power Card to dig up your Scandal and reveal it, which could cost you some votes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the game down below. The game Mud. Game of uh, some mudslinging. crazy mudslinging <laughs> going on. Show you how to play, and then we'll come up and we'll discuss the game. Welcome, wealthy mogul. As we attempt to sway the American election, let's go ahead and gather seven cards into our hand from the pre-shuffled deck here. And if you haven't already, shuffle the Scandal deck. You're going to need it. Take these cards and put them into your hand and look at them. For the most part, they're going to be voters, and voters are going to have a different... Yeah, wealth class, you can say. You're going to have the working class, you'll have the wealthy, and you'll have the middle class as well. They're the ones that have two of the little, little money signs on them. You're also going to have what political party they're from. They could be a Republican, they could be a Democrat, or they could be an undecided voter. The worst type of voter, these guys here. And in the game, you're going to take three actions. You're going to play up to three of your voters into your tableau, which will be right in front of you. So go ahead and place three of them right in front of you, any three of your workers you want. Now remember, you're attempting to gather the same type if possible. So if you want to go for the specific conservatives, you want those, or you're going to go for liberals, you want those. However, undecided are wild. So in this case, we have two undecided and a conservative in the West. So we have three from the West, which means in order to win the game, all you need is three of that specific party in each of the five different provinces. You can also play any number of power cards from your hand if you want, but you don't have to play them because playing power cards can be scandalous. But if you do choose to play it, go ahead and play it. We'll take any two voters from a uh, another player. Now you'd have to play it in front, so in this case this wouldn't help you, but if I did have voters out she could play that power card, in which case she could take my voters and put them into her tableau. But that would actually cost her a scandal card. Which, if somebody ever has a dig card, that can be revealed, and then something can happen. And remember, you never draw until the end of your turn. So in this case, she's going to go ahead and draw up to seven cards. Now, if it was my turn, I'm going, I would go ahead and play up to three as well. I've got myself a Northeastern Undecided voter. I've got myself a Southern Liberal. I've got myself a Southern Undecided, and I have another Southern, uh, another Southern Undecided I can play for next turn. So I'll go ahead and place these guys there. I also have a Steel card which one good steal begets another. So I'll go ahead and take myself a scandal and I will steal back some of the cards that she stole from me. So in this case, I'll steal this one and we got myself a Western liberal. Actually, I prefer a Western undecided. That's gonna be more, more useful to my cause, I think. And I'll place it there. And then I would in turn drawing myself back up to seven cards. And the game just continues from there. Callie can go ahead and play up to three cards into her, her, her tableau, and uh, then she can go ahead and decide to play any power cards that she wishes as well. But she doesn't have to, or if she doesn't have any, then she just simply can't. After she draws back up to her hand of seven cards, I would then once again go playing my Midwestern Undecided, my Southern Undecided, and a Northeastern Liberal, 
And then if I wanted to, I could do something really interesting. It's called the dig card. I can play it on a scandal card in front of another player, in which case I'd have to flip over that scandal. But whenever you play a power card, regardless of whether it's a dig or not, you'll get a scandal yourself. That being flipped over is going to tell you something unique about one of the elections or one of our uh, past political candidates, and it'll tell you what happens. In this case, it says lose one million of each economic class. In this case, you're going to have to lose a working class, you're going to have to lose a middle class and a wealthy, and they'll go straight to the discard pile. And the game just continues from there, playing back and forth, attempting to gather three of the specific types in each of the five different categories, and the moment you do that, you win the game. If you, if you can, and become the most wealthy and most controlling political mogul of all time. <laughs> Normally, playing a board game or a card game, it doesn't always matter if you win, but in the game of mud, and of course <laughs> politics, winning is everything. Mm -hmm. And in this game, you're simply trying to gather your tableau of voters and win the election in any way possible, avoiding scandals and digging up scandals on your opponents. Or purposefully gaining a few scandals to play those very powerful cards at the right time. Everything has a cost, and there's always a balance in this game as to what you want to play and how you want to play it. With more players comes more fun, because that brings more shenanigans. And in addition, you can also trade with your opponents, so you're able to trade voters. Of course, that also comes with a negative potential for if your opponent has what they need, then your opponent will win. <laughs> or you can share scandal cards by playing the powers together. However, that scandal then, when dug up, is going to implicate both of you and you will both suffer the effects. Much like the game's side effects, the cards are very high quality, the artwork's very nice, and it's really easy to understand how to play this game. You'll understand how to play in roughly two or three turns, placing down your voters, attempting to gather those undecideds, and then your specific political party of choice, whether it be the leftists or the rightists, and then you'll be placing them down. And of course, you can choose to go with both and figure out what one works best for you, because on the occasion, people will steal stuff from you. So if you choose to only go one way, you might be at a you might be a target for another player. Well, there's some strategy get gets revealed with having some of those because when you're targeted, when your scandals get dug up, you're got you're going to probably lose some voters, and it's nice to have some extra ones there to to lose instead of your the ones you're actually going after. I mean, potentially your <laughs> scandals might have actually nothing on them whatsoever mm -hmm. because you're a great candidate. You've done nothing wrong, and so or no scandals. Those people don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and so there are answer. specific scandals that will do certain things, and based on how you choose to diversify or not diversify, it will affect what is in front of you. This is, in essence, a tableau management take that style game, yep. where you are basically trying to control your board as best as possible, but your opponents are also trying to uh, reduce your board size down in hopes that they'll win instead. And there's that social aspect to it of making trades, making deals, and also making sure that one person doesn't get too far ahead of any of the others in that way. All the scandals are also very unique and funny, mm -hmm. especially because they are all original scandals that you can find online. In fact, I looked up a couple of them. One of them being stuck in memory, the, the candidate who who, re, who quoted Pokemon yes. twice? <laughs> Pretty funny, and there there are quite a few of those in there. If, if if at any point your scandals kind of overlap and there's too many of them, then you just can simply play power cards for free as well, which is nice. Yes. But overall, this is a fun little take that game. It's a great family game. It's very easy to learn, very easy to understand. It's one of those tableau management games that is going to be a starter gateway game, I think, for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. It's not, it doesn't delve deep into any specific political party, it doesn't take any shots unfairly. It's very straightforward for both sides. And it doesn't even kind of give you that idea it, of It doesn't even way. really matter what party you go after. It's mm -hmm. just, you just choose one. You're a bad person <laughs> yeah. because you, you are a mogul who's just intent to, in, intent to win the election by mm -hmm. any means necessary utilizing as much money reminds me of that one guy that tried to win regardless though i personally enjoy this game quite a bit and i think this is a game for the most part that if you're watching this and it seems like something that you'd be interested in you should take a look at if you like side effects you want a quick uh, party game for i'd say more adults like getting into the political theme and just having fun with it this is a great choice 
Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you like this video, check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, hit that subscribe button, and the bell notification button. Do it. Right now. Please. <laughs> right now, do it. As well as check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com. Blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. Our live stream every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. PST, as well as our Discord, where we do auctions. Fun auctions for moguls like us where you can win games. They started a buck every Monday, and by the end of the week, if you win, you'll get yourself a wonderful game. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I look forward to... Gathering voters across the U.S. with you... Next time! <laughs>